Hello and welcome, this is Comp Tips Tutorial and today I'll be giving the ultimate guide on how to speed up your Windows XP. The first thing you want to do is go to the control panel, double click on system, go to the advanced tab, click on the top one, settings for performance, and then you can click uh, you can click adjust for best performance or um, the best way is to go to custom and use these settings that I'll give you. Now you got a list of here of what you can check and uncheck. Um, here's my list of what you should uncheck. Um, it just makes it easier, speeds it up a lot more. Um, I will be posting these in the video description if you um, can't remember them or whatever. So yeah, you want to uncheck fade of slide fade should say or fade or slide menus into view so you'd uncheck that one fade or slide tooltips so you uncheck that one show window contents while dragging that one um, yeah the list goes on but um, I'm not doing that because I like having them on but you don't really notice them. The only one is you notice that one. Um, um, oh, while you're here, um, you go to the advanced tab on this and click on the virtual memory and click change. Now, for the initial size on here, you want to have it on custom. Click initial size and times your original RAM amount of RAM by 1.5 for the initial size so mine was 512 megabytes and you times that by 1.5 and you get 768 um, for the maximum size you want to times your original RAM by 3 and that'll, um, that gave me 1536 megabytes of RAM just click OK on that Um, um, click OK on that. The next one you want to do is go to error reporting. Um, it'll come up with enabled most likely. All you, what, all you want to do is just click this disable one and leave this one checked just in case anything really bad does happen and then it should notify you. Um, next one is if you click on remote and uncheck allow remote assistance and uncheck allow users to connect remotely to this computer um, it just saves some memory on stuff that you probably won't use um, next one is if you go to automatic updates um, uncheck them because for Windows XP there aren't I can't really see many updates coming out things Windows 7's coming out and they've got Windows Vista to work on because that's really bad um, but if there are any you just go to the Windows Update website and um, install them from there um, System Restore um, you can turn it off um, if you never use it I'd turn it off um, well not if you never use it I think if you good with computers and you know what you're doing then um, I'd turn it off but my computer's really bad so I leave it on because I need to res I end up restoring mine um, once a week or something like that because something fucks up on it because my sister um, and um, I think that's all of that let's click apply on there um, next one you want to do is go to power options and click on hibernate now it comes up with enable hibernation and if you're using a desktop PC chances are you don't use hibernate so you'd uncheck that um, and it see, you see here it takes up 511 megabytes of disk space to hibernate your computer um, and that's quite a bit so I, I I leave that checked but I never use hibernate anyway Well actually yeah I do um, yeah you want to leave that 
if you've got a laptop um, it's up to you to uncheck it or check it but um, I'm going to leave it checked but if you've got a desktop it's probably best to uncheck it um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your computer right click on the hard drive and up pops this now on here it says allow index service to index this disk for fast searching um, unless you use searching on a regular basis all the time on your computer uncheck it it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes or so to um, rewrite all the files because um, it just needs to apply some changes to them I did it earlier um, it's not it doesn't slow down your computer or anything so you can still do stuff while you're on it um, it's just you don't really use the search feature I don't use the search feature that often so I just turned it off um, next thing you want to do is go to tools and um, this top one that says error checking you click check now check both in boxes and click start um, I'm not going to do it now because it takes one to two hours to do it and uh, you need to restart your computer once you've done it um, but it does it what it does is it scans your computer for any um, errors in the Windows XP startup or just anything in Windows XP that's gone wrong and needs fixing um, this scanner will scan it fix it for you automatically and then on reboot everything should be working and um, it um, fixes everything, it speeds up your computer and it stops anything going wrong with your computer and um, slowing it down and ruining the um, Windows XP experience um, the other one is you can choose this defragment but I don't like it it's sluggish and um, you can't do it it's a pain in the neck to just go in here every single time so what I do is um, I downloaded a separate um, defragmentation software so if you if you go um, I'll post the link to this but if you go to your internet and you go into a new tab and just go into Google and type in JKDRAG this is my favourite one um, easy to use stuff like that and this is the JK defrag website um, you go down to here you give you um, these three downloads if you've got a 64-bit um, version of Windows XP or Vista you want this second one if you're if you want to have a look at the source code if you into all that code and stuff like that you can download the um, C++ file um, if you just run in standard Windows Vista or Windows XP just download the top one come to download here wait for that to finish I've already got it so I'm just going to cancel that ah, so. now um, what you want to do is you go to your control panel once you've downloaded that JK defrag double click schedule tasks now I've already got one here but I'll just delete that for this and um, I'll put it back in so if you go to wherever you've got JK defrag um, it, it's not a, you don't have to set anything up it's just as it is a standard standalone exe file you don't need to install anything so all you do is just drag it drop it in right click on it to change the properties and you can choose to run it at a certain start time or what I do is um, I leave it to run when it's idle when it's been idle for 10 minutes um, then you just click apply on that it'll ask for your password of your user if you've got one just click OK once that and there you go that's going to run when it's been my computer's been idle for 10 minutes now
you can choose it to do it at a certain time every day or every month 